DCM works. If we're being honest, I didn't understand the end of Donnie Darko, and I still don't. Yeah, it was probably a song that reminded me of it, or I'd done an Arnold Schwarzenegger voice. Writing is definitely an isolating thing. From an yeah. outside perspective, that's weird it as well. makes us look really um, mental. But that is because of what it kind of said about art. Did I? That had fun in bits. There were fun bits. We, went and, we went and bought a value pack of straps. Oh my god, film. we did. There is a big lesson here to learn about storytelling. Hey guys, welcome back to the Outfriders podcast, official podcast of Digital and Creative Media Works. I'm trying to be really upbeat. My name is David Deeser, <laughs> creative director, lead writer, and joined as always by my co-host Ben. Hi. And today, Laura, special guest. Hello. Now, this week, guys, we're talking about the storytelling of Logan. Logan, what did you do? Charles, the world is not the same as it was. This was an emotional roller coaster. <laughs> oh was, boy. Uh, bef- before we get into anything, as always, uh, if the name of the thing is in the title of the episode, we're going to spoil it. Hey guys, David here. I've just put this segment in here to let you know that right after this, we spoil the entire film. Ben does it as a joke, but in hindsight, we kind of thought that maybe we should um, put in a little bit of time here for you to actually turn the podcast off. So if you haven't seen Logan, please stop listening right now because it will spoil the whole thing for you. Almost immediately, because Ben just jumps straight to the end. So, just a heads up, if you haven't seen the film, this is your final spoiler warning. And if you haven't seen it, and you care about it, and you keep listening, and you get spoiled, don't... I mean, don't yell at us. Or do. It's it's really your call. But that's... Okay. On with the episode. Spoiler alert. So, full spoilers from He here dies. Oh. Well, old mate's dead, isn't he? Oh. Couldn't give people much... <laughs> that was not enough time for no, them to tune but, uh, in. No, spoiler alert. Yeah, he dies in the end. Oh, man. Um, um, fuck me. We just oh. came out of this, and I don't know, I'm feeling a bit raw. Um, oh, yeah. We had I a bit both. of a weepy at the end. Yeah. Um, it was quite the roller coaster. I was like, oh, maybe he'll be fine. Like, but he's definitely... Nah, he's got, a, he's got a kid, and he's a father. He's dead. I almost laughed hysterically at the end, because, you know, at the end of uh, Batman v Superman, when, like, Superman's coffin... Like the rocks on it shift up. Oh, you, you oh. thought a rock was gonna shift? <laughs> but like, well, no, I didn't because I was like, he's definitely dead. But yeah. the minute I thought about that scene, I was, about, like, oh, I was about to laugh out loud, like hysterically, <laughs> like you're like, oh. I um, but I realized that would maybe be inappropriate given the uh, I, tone of the cinema at the time. Yeah, a little bit. I nearly laughed because the movie couldn't fucking help itself and had to do a fucking X bullshit yeah, thing. Yeah, I was like, did. she started pulling out the thing. I was like, what is she doing? And I realized. Don't, don't do it. Don't turn it on. It's like, oh, you did it. Oh, you couldn't help yourself. I thought it was a nice touch. I thought it was cute. I thought, uh, I mean... I mean, it was, look, it's completely out of place. (laughs) If we'd not seen that happen in every single fucking X-Men film ever made... If I I hadn't been expecting it, yeah. The thing is, like, the kids were, like, really reverent of the X-Men. That's kind of just a gesture. Yeah, But then they just, they, like, look at her and they're like, let's go. (laughs) I'm like, give the ladies some space, motherfuckers. Yeah. Holy shit. Like, no, one, no one even, like, you know, like, came to, like, comfort her and, like, make her shit. They were just like, see you, bitch. They're meant to be her friends, though. I, they're clearly uh, not. Yeah. They, Although, can they, you be friends with a psychopath? I don't know. Uh, I mean, she she probably has some problems. She killed a lot of people. She spent the first, she spent, like, the first half of the film, most of her dialogue just being screams. <laughs> can, we talk, can we talk about how great... Murder screams. Mm. I really want to have a think about, and, and it, this... I was sort of turning this over as it was happening, but the way that they sort of portrayed Logan and, and Wolverine in this film and the way that those two kind of alter egos interact with each other, I thought it was really cool. And the idea that in this universe, when he was the Wolverine and then you've got the comic books and in the continuity that exists and like, they're like misrepresentations of what happened. Yeah. it's. Re- I thought it was really cool. You know, you, you go, oh, that's like the camp Logan that we saw in the first few films. Yeah. And then yeah. the real one is the guy who says fucking shit a lot. Oh, yeah. No, the first... <laughs> yeah. the, I thought it was awesome. The oh, yeah. first words out of like the film and his mouth is just like, oh, fuck. I was like, yeah, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you, I was you, so excited. You made me think of that because, yeah, when, uh, when she does first talk, <laughs> the first thing is he's like, Fuck. Yeah. I, that was so funny. Because <laughs> in any other film, they would have had him ha- say some, like, be like, ah, line of dialogue geez. or something. Well, not even that. They would have saved but, the F word for the but, one F word they're allowed for the film. That or, like, he would have done, like, some joke about, like, mute people and mutants. Like, there would have been some camp line about something, but instead they were just like, what would a normal person do? They'd be like, He's like fucking hell. Fuck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, I, I thought there was a lot of that just throughout where instead of, like, it being a comic book film... They're just human beings. They were just like, here's yeah. a bunch of people. And I thought yeah. the writing in that way was fairly exceptional. Yeah. 
Uh, who the fuck was that tracker guy? Like, oh, <laughs> Stephen who, Merchant. Yeah, who the fuck yeah, is that? Like, that's no, a good question. Um, like, I think he's from... albino person. Yeah. So they well they, they've they've run into some issues because they don't have enough characters that they needed to do to do the old man Logan storyline. Right. Because okay. in the original one, it's Hawkeye who travels with him, and Hawkeye as in like blind. Yeah. As oh, in, as in like yeah, Avengers Hawkeye. As in Avengers Hawkeye. Oh, oh. so it's like, that would have been cool. So they should have got like, him on. And it was Andrew Reynolds? I don't, I don't know. Ooh. Jeremy uh, Renner. Jeremy Renner. <laughs> you were so close. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, no, you weren't. <laughs> Andrew Reynolds. Um, oh dear. Uh, he's such a mediocre Isn't actor. A musician. Yeah. But um, <laughs> they don't own the the rights for that, obviously. No. Obviously. But in the yeah, in the old man Logan comic, it's it's um blind Hawkeye and Logan, you know, going on this road trip. Blind Hawkeye would be pretty. So useful. instead, they just replaced him with. Well, kind of, but he's kind of cool. S- senile oh, Charles that Xavier. Cool. Well, they kind of ripped that from another storyline. Right. But I was gonna say too, like the cool thing about having Hawkeye, like in the comic book at least, um, every like he because he obviously like can see by hearing or whatever. Right. Sure. And he's got perfect in his in the Marvel universe in the comic books. His superpower is that he's got like perfect aim. Yeah. Yep. But so like he's got perfect aim even though he can't see. And there's right. a great scene where he kills a bunch of people with his fingernails because he's got no other projectiles. So he like throws, he like rips them off and throws. Oh them. god! It's a fucking dark. That's comic. gruesome as oh, fuck. Boy. That's it. That's I guess a, that's <laughs> that's an indication of the tone of the yeah. uh, right. Wolverine comics. Sure. So that's why I thought this film was great because everyone was grimy and dirty and gross. Oh yeah, it was. And there were lots of filthy as fuck. Yeah, oh, lots so of much blood. Oh god, yeah. So and limbs. many just heads. Just, just the film over. Ripped open. I, I, so much sweat and bone and blood. I think and... the best part was the introduction to Laura as well. Was where she just walks out and like she's you, she's you holding really something and holding. I was like I was like that's I was like it's it's just a backpack. Yeah, it's, it's just got like, some blood. And then it's, it's just, just a, a fucking head. And then you like see it and you're like, oh, that's a head. Yep. Oh, she she's yeah. she's a little crazy. Talk about the foot knife. Oh my oh, god! Yeah. So oh, like, that was brutal. So like, I knew that was coming because I knew she was X twenty three because I've read the comic. Well, right. Yeah. But the moment when like her foot knife came out, I was like, oh shit's gonna rain. Yeah, and like oh. the the choreography of the fighting, even though some of it was a little rubber, like a little rubbery at times. I um, thought they did a good job of not doing what the other X Men comics, which is oh sorry, the other films have done, which is like way too choppy. Yeah, like, no, a lot, a lot of it, a lot of the action was really good because you'd through. see it. I think the most impressive bit was like during that weird like where everyone's frozen in time because of Xavier's brain thing. Really cool. Like they didn't yeah. they didn't like like every other film would just like cut on it and make it kind of kind of fast paced. But they were like, nah, he's just like so slow. He just just puts it in their I mean, head the, the, the and it just goes of, through. And you're like, what? And the, the guy fuck? watches him the whole time. Yeah, the dude's like, I'm gonna die. Yeah, it's it's crazy. This film is it's crazy dark. Fucking oh. relief. If if you had said to someone ten years ago, you were like, look, I know that X Men is incredible. <laughs> the X Men film, you know. The first one, it was whatever. The second one, like, yeah. it's not great. They right. would have been like, that's fine. X-Men 3 will be fine. And if you're like, 10 years <laughs> after this, you're going to have an X-Men film where you're going to watch Logan <laughs> stumbling through a hallway in slow motion and at someone will watch, you'll watch him in slow motion put his claws through someone's skull. Imagine if this was the first X-Men film. Oh, man. <laughs> Imagine if this was the in- people's introduction to Wolverine. I mean, well, that's, I think that's why... He would be like, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> but my, I don't think it would work. No, because you you oh. need you need that background of like you know a dude with a with a robotic arm and never being explained is fine. Well, but do you? Like, but hang on, but do you need that background? Because a lot of the ex like okay, I want I want to have one. Gri- you, I have need, one gri- you need background of the universe, but not like, but you kind of get enough of it in the film. I, I feel don't think like. they give as much as if you kind of. You kidding me? There's like a whole three minutes where you look at a phone screen and you watch exposition of the current state <laughs> no, no, no. of the universe. No, that's but like, like some BVS <laughs> shit. That's like, it's, that's like Lex Luthor jumping on a laptop and opening up some files with graphics to be designed. Fair, to be fair, they did have like their their Samsung phone moment with the uh, Sony phone. Yeah, just like yeah, they, yeah, they, they had a bit like, of that. Oh, Sony product um, placement. Well, to be fair, they showed impressed. the Sony phone running out of battery. True. So <laughs> yeah, it's a bit here and there, you know, not the best. Hey, look, it's not the happens. best thing is Sony phones just dying when you, right when you need them, they die. Just but right, hey, you can, right you can buy you a charger. Die, they die. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I thought, okay, here's the thing, and I don't know if this is just me, but that felt super lazy compared to the rest of the film. What? Because like the, well, the, the phone, phone thing. thing. Oh, the yeah. phone rest thing. of it, they did a really good job of not being. There was no moment where they sat down and went, okay, here's what's happening. These are these characters. This is how it's going. They took a step back and they said, okay, how do we do this exposition without? What's the word for um when you like uh, what show don't tell? Well, not even that, but it's you know in the other X Men films, like say when Jean Grey um 
uh, in, in X Men Three, which everyone hates, but I think it's a f- it's an okay film. Right. But in that film, when she has the Dark Phoenix inside her, the first indication, the first real indication you get, aside from the fact that she kills Scott Summers, which everyone keeps forgetting, <laughs> yeah. um, is when uh, she's in the medical bay and she's talking to Logan, um, and then she like tries to bang him, and then yeah, tries she to just kill him. like tries to rip his clothes off yeah. and stuff, which yeah. is fair. It's Hugh Jackman, but like. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean... But in that moment, yeah. there's no point where she doesn't turn around and go, I'm evil and also trying to bang you. It just kind of... It lets the scene play happens, out. Yeah. Whereas right. it felt like this... They did that the whole film except for that one scene. The problem is is that they could have... They had they had the opportunity to not do that because they had Laura. Well, but, like, Laura could have been... But the, like, this is going to get confusing because Laura is also Laura. Yeah. But, Hi, Laura. No. If it, okay. <laughs> crazy Laura. But here's we'll what call I'm saying. Crazy Laura. The... <laughs> X twenty three. Just call her X twenty three. Okay, X twenty three. I'll do that. We'll do that. But that's not going to happen. But that's it's a nice thought. So, I, you think of Laura, Laura, <laughs> Laura, 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 Laura. <laughs> can we can we not get derailed like this? Dave right. has a um, point. Uh, yeah, my brain is now all I can think of is the word Laura, and it's really like I'm very yeah. Uh, what the fuck was I even saying? Uh, uh, X twenty three. Exposition. That was yeah. 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 So okay, so that phone moment, right? You have X twenty three not talk the whole film, which yeah. I thought was a great touch, which is cool. Yeah, but you know what you do? You have you have the moment where she decides to open up to Logan about after what that hissy happened, trip, and she tells him what happened, and yeah. you get you get dual action. You get Logan showing us that he doesn't care by being like, "Whatever, I've been through." Four but at world the same time, really cares. But at the, well, but kind of not because it's Logan, and then you also get he doesn't care. He does. He, he still doesn't care at that point. I think. Yeah, yeah. But then then you get development from X twenty three because she's actually talking to someone and opening up. Yeah, and then you could kind of do a dual scene thing where maybe she lies to him. Or, like, you could do some interesting stuff with that, and then you would have Donald at the end, maybe. Like, th- if I was going to fix that exposition, you would have yeah. her lie to him about what happened. And then have, have, like, the one of the And kids. then they didn't need to, like, spell it out for everybody. Well, yeah. yeah. In, like, found footage. Yeah, it just felt, <laughs> it just felt lazy. And you could have... Well, it was an easy fixes that you could have really used to, like, leverage that more. I mean, I even would have preferred it if um, she'd been having, like, nightmares, and it showed us nightmares of yeah. like, being in the even facility. That, yeah, that even that cliche would have been better. And, like, I guess some version of that where it's not, like, the, um, in, oh, what the fuck, you know the, the uh, BBS where um, the whole opening sequence is, like, a weird dream thing where it tells yeah. you, like, Bruce Wayne's parents' death. Yeah. That, but not shit, well, is like, what you mean. like, Schneider moments. Yeah. But that was a Schneider shit. moment. That's a Schneider yeah. moment. I don't like, think we had any of those in, these fil- in this film. Oh. <sighs> No, we didn't have any Schneider moments. We did have a scene that made me fucking wet, though. Which what? was when he juices up, and he goes through the forest, and he just cuts oh, the fuck. Yeah, I, I, meant, I mentioned this when we were driving home, but I was like, man, seeing Hugh Jackman wearing a tank top running through the forest, oh, man, that gets me going. Oh, oh, yeah. Especially when he's That's, covered in blood and visceral. Yeah, you're like, hell yeah. It, <laughs> tie me up, fam. That moment, I was like, his, that, that was like, fucking A, he's going to die. The minute that happens, <laughs> he's going to die. Yeah. Oh, he's fucked, yeah. They, they, were, they were like, this is classic Wolverine. Yeah. Say goodbye. Yeah, he's dead. Much. Oh, boy. I, Oh, what do you think of uh, evil, evil Wolvie? Look, I thought it was a, it was cool. It was a cool idea. Look, I fucking hated it, but I mean, I'm glad they. X twenty four is one of those storylines that never. I don't know. It, it always feels a bit. Um... Is that is that the is X twenty four what is referenced at the end of Apocalypse? Yeah. Yeah. No. So... Well, it's it's in, well, no. It's just implied <laughs> that the X program is still running and they've got Logan's. DNA. And they've got Logan's DNA. So but this. So this. No. No, this doesn't. So it's not connected at all. Good. Yeah. So the director was like, "This, whilst it exists in a version of this universe, it's yeah. it's a it's a separate timeline." Yeah. That's okay. Right. So in this one, this is kind of what I like is that what you get is enough threads of the X Men comics and also the X Men films that it feels like it makes sense, but it's not. Yeah, because there's no there's no like X Men cinematic universe where you can directly tie one film to the other because they're all they all kind of. Like, every single X-Men film, like, retcons the previous ones, because they're a, like, yeah, the previous one sucked, here's a good one, well, and then it just continues to suck. Kind of. There's a really good <laughs> article that Gabe wrote on this, actually. Um, Shout out to Gabe. Yeah, he, if you go on Twitter, Gabriel Bergmuser, it's probably pinned at the moment. Uh, right. Go read that. He does a really good job of explaining why they make that lack of continuity work for them. Yeah. Because it means they've got flexibility. You know how, like, the Marvel films are basically chained to the ideas that they've set forward and yeah. the Infinity it's Stones. It's this whole yeah. big and, 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 and it's, web And it's of cool because you see all the films and yeah. they all connect. But what that means is that individual directors have to really fight to take risks because it's difficult in that universe to do something different. Whereas with the X-Men, and say what you will, because there are a bunch of trash films <laughs> in that <laughs> franchise. Oh, yeah. But almost all of them take take risks because they don't they don't let themselves be like tied to the fact yeah that like almost all of them really have some 
crazy gimmick going this on. This film is fucking nuts compared yeah. to the other one. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I mean, this one takes it's crazy. This one takes the front seat and then drives the car into a fucking tree <laughs> and then says, "Let's go. <laughs> Let's that, do it again." Then it's like then it's like, <laughs> "Now say thank you for me killing yeah. your favorite characters." <laughs> yeah. Oh. Which is such a That was so brutal. It's like getting into a taxi and then the taxi like drives 100k's an hour down down the main road, crashes into a signpost, dies. Everyone dies. And then in heaven, he's like, that'll be twenty three forty for the fair thanks. And you pay him because <laughs> fuck yeah, that was good. And you tip him. <laughs> yeah, and you tip him because um, that was the best taxi crash you've ever been in. I think, I don't know if I would, this is not by any means like a 10 out of 10 film for me. No, 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 no um, of course not, no. But it's a, I think it's, it's like a solid four out of five at least. If I, I don't know. I, I feel like. You're changing scale. <laughs> if, it's, it's, it doesn't it's, really work that way. It's three apples out of four So it's an eight out of ten. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a four bananas to eight acorns. <laughs> I, give this, I give this six Wolverine claws. Out of what? I give it six Wolverine claws. Hands. I give it six Wolverine claws, the same amount he gave most characters in no, this film. No, give, give it five and a half because one of them's jammed. <laughs> no, he, he rips it out. He yeah, fixes I know. It. I was doing a joke. That wasn't funny. No, I know. Um, how uncomfortable. I was the minute that jammed. I'm like, he's gonna have to pull that out. Or oh, something. oh, that was. I didn't, I didn't notice it jamming really. It the, no, okay. It was like at the start. No, it was it really just... visible in the start where oh. there was shorter than. Right. He yeah. like kind of. It was great. So he's like, he, he like put the he claws out. Mad, and he like looks at. It, he's like. <laughs> right. so clearly that's happened before. I like right. that. And that's like that idea of the healing factors <laughs> slowing down because the adamantium is poisoning him. Like it's so you know that was what I was going to talk about in the car, and I said I'd save it. So in the comics. Basically, in the old continuity, um, the adamantium was always poisoning him. Right. So yep. before he got the adamantium, his healing factor, he could get, like, riddled with bullets in the That's, air. And by yeah. the time he hit the ground, he'd be, like, perfectly healed. Yeah. Right. They put the adamantium in, it really, like, it poisons him constantly. So he's always healing. So he's less right. quick recovering. Okay. He's a little bit slower. So it's and like having, was... like, a fucking autoimmune disease. Yeah. You just get fucked by everything else. Constantly. Yeah. And the cool thing about that in the comics is it made him vulnerable and interesting. Because, you know, he could get shot in the head and he'd be out for a day. Yeah, and that was how, that right. was how you would deal with Wolverine. Is you would try and do as much damage as you could to keep him out, to keep of, him out of the fight until yeah. you could do what you needed to do, right? Right. And that was cool. But then what happened for some reason, and no one's sure why, is, is they're like immune. Well, there was one storyline where he got the man. adamantium ripped out of his body by Magneto, right? So Magneto right. was that like, happened in the film as well, didn't it? Yeah. Maybe. No. No. Don't know. no. I think no. He just lost one set of claws in the film. Right. Um. But so he gets he gets the adamantium ripped out of his body. By Magneto, and then his healing factor increases because he's got he's not being poisoned yeah. anymore. Right. And there's this great run of comics where he was like, and it was fun for a bit. Where he was just like this indestructible nightmare of like <laughs> Wolverine, where like he couldn't be uh. killed, and like you know he'd get riddled with bullets and explosions in the air, and then land to be perfectly healed. It was great. Yeah. What happened was the writers changed over, and no one told the new writers that when they put the adamantium back in, they <laughs> get to poison him again. Yeah. You gotta poison him and make, make him, him weaker, weaker again. So now yeah. he's just invincible in the comics, pretty right, much, yeah. and super boring. That's so silly. Yeah. So the response to that was Old Man Logan, but he's like this decrepit. Fucking broken Decaying. down, alcoholic, yeah. dying man. And that was kind of where this came from. So I thought it was cool that they like sort of threaded that back through. But it wasn't like super obvious. Like you don't know what's really wrong with him. Yeah, like for a longest thought time, cool. I thought it was just like, it's cancer. Well, I think maybe the adamantium gives him cancer in this universe. I don't know how Right, that okay. Well, he didn't really say I mean, anything about cancer, but he did say that it was poisoning. But he, yeah, he even like, he stares at like, there's like that folio that says like, like pancreat or like something cancer, cancer. Yeah. like research and you just and they hold on it for like that long that length of time where you're like this is important yeah and no no they it was pediatric cancer yeah research. that's right yeah 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 it was pediatric cancer yeah, it was research. like pediatric cancer which research. begs the question what does that have to do with x23 well, that was the folder with the stuff in it well maybe that's what they were hiding maybe that's the what they were covering it under. yes yeah, that's oh, of probably, course yeah. right because that was what the that'd be the cover yeah, story yeah oh, the files, okay. were, that makes the files more were with her and that's probably what they were covering okay, it okay that makes with. more sense um, okay hey but, we did it we solved the i guess that's why that maybe I mean, it's not I cancer then i assumed <laughs> that that's what it was <laughs> yeah. when i was no, watching that makes it. total sense i was like on the you guys not we're really laura we're really dumb i was on the side of like oh he has three folders maybe they have a cancer division and the uh funky no um, i think almost mutant division i think the hispanic woman who was protecting her literally said out loud that it was they were hiding them in like a cancer division in that <laughs> three minute video <laughs> I, I did not pay attention to that video at all i fucking hated it uh, also, I, hate, I hate watching can we talk about on screen how much video production that she had to put into that video to make it look like that Oh, yeah. As a video editor, I, that video would have taken like 10 hours of editing. When, when did she have the time for that? She's running yeah, away from the she, bad She's guys. like cutting from like different locations and like voiceover. Like if, it was, if it was realistic, there'd be the video of her and then there would be other Individual videos. Individual videos, stuff. yeah. In folders it's... with icons with superhero names. 
yeah like lex luthor and it's yeah with like and you have to like hack into the usb stick i'm not trying to be that guy again but and can aquaman we just, is there can we, all rem- <laughs> can we all just remember that like lex luthor had to pay to for someone to design the logos for the superheroes because <laughs> he's got maybe those in a just, folder maybe, maybe he's just a graphic designer. designer and design. he also named them yeah he's the person yeah. that gives them their logos and their names what the fuck That's fucking what the fuck well, are they meant we'll to know that We'll talk about that, that when we watch things? the... Uh, well, no, because I mean, the, the Flash Avengers isn't the Flash yet, because he's, like, just some long-haired dude, and Aquaman is an Aquaman because he's just some underwater Yeah, bloke. but they already have logos. That's because Lex Luthor designed them. It's yeah, insane. and then they're going to take Lex on the logos. Lex Luthor is cause... an undercover graphic designer well, Wonder Woman... who just needs recognition. <laughs> well, Wonder Woman email them when they form the justice. She'll email them the logos. She'll, like, like, <laughs> she'll, like, took a, she'll be There's like, take a look at these. There's design work like, on this, got, guys. Yeah. You need to, like... We're getting this for free because Lex Luthor did it, so use it, you know, sparingly. <laughs> yeah, maybe they, like, you know, maybe they look back at, like, their file. They're like, oh, this Lex Luthor guy knows about us. They look at the file, they're like... It's actually not bad. Like it's pretty decent work. We should we should hire this guy. So like, can we have that one? In can we green? get this? Can we get this guy on the side? Can like he, um, can we just like can you do the logo for the like, anonymously? League? Just like grab. Can you do like a global? Like a global. Just like, <laughs> like a give it like a whole client thing. Yeah. God. Um, um, could we? Anyway, no. Man. So I don't know where I was going. with That, that. was a big digression. No. Yeah. Shocking on this show. Who um, was, <laughs> what was the name? I feel like there was a reference that I didn't uh-huh. pick up on when he was looking through the files of like the kids. And it was like the the DNA supplied by so and so, and he looked at like the kit, like some boy first, and they they like they did the thing where they looked at the name for just long enough. Oh, I don't remember. Where it's like I forgot what the name was, but it was like the kind of thing where it was just like that looks important. It might have been his brother because there was a comment from when they're in the car when Logan and Xavier are in the car talking. Just you know what you know when they go to help the people. With the well, horses? yeah, because the name was yeah. like Wolf, like Chris Wolf something. It, yeah, it's like some alias of... It's either Wolverine's name or it's his brother, or is that, that's Sabretooth. Saber, I thought it was Sabretooth. I don't know. It, yeah. I'm not sure. I can't remember. But I feel like that was maybe an allusion to the fact that in the comics, like, there are a lot of... <laughs> X-Men does, like, a lot of cloning of people. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, at one point, Wolverine was a scroll for ages for some reason. A what? A what? Scroll is an alien that can impersonate you and take on your life and memories, but you don't know you're a scroll. What? Until you're activated, and then you're a scroll, but you're also kind of yourself, because you don't, unless you're activated, you just look like yourself. Sure. What? So then there was one series where X, it was X-24, who's a clone of Logan, Logan, and Scroll Logan, and, <laughs> and it's what? like, just, like a lot of Wolverines. Whatever. I'm really yeah. confused. X-Men's real dumb. Comics Maybe they're stupid. just like, we just need more Wolverines, so we can just... Well, what I would like to see is an X-23 film when she's an adult, being, because the current run of Wolverine, she's the Wolverine. Oh, books, okay. Because right. he's dead. Yeah. He's a adamantium statue at the moment. Oh, um, fun. He's, that that he, uh, he's he, just in a grave he got his now. Power, well, he's, no, he's not. He's literally an adamantium statue. Right. He got, a, he got red hot adamantium poured over him oh. after his healing factor got ripped away. He's I'd like say, super uh, dead. That's uh, a, um, yeah. you know, he's going to be back. That's like, no, he's going to come back. But like, yeah, that's like dead. some fucking Han Solo shit. He's, <laughs> nah, he's real dead. Oh, that's that's, wow. that's okay. on solo. And then they brought he's in. Being, he's being really solid. Brilliant. Yeah, but it's also X Men, so they brought in Old Man Logan from a parallel universe. Who's now also Logan in that world. <laughs> of course but they then fucking also have. X23 and also a clone of Logan. Because this is Logan. comics and parallel universes can happen. Well, no, this is X Men <laughs> comics. They go, they could go be worse. ham. Could be on worse. The fucking... Yeah, it, I was just going to say, it could be worse. It could be um, Marvel's current run of Captain America. There's like eight Captain America. It doesn't matter. Look, what? Well, they're all different people. Let's let's not dwell on the specifics. There's like four Iron Patriots, kind of. Anyway, it's not <laughs> oh important. My God. Basically, comics are dumb, <laughs> and what I thought they did with this is they took a really cool comic that they didn't own most. They didn't own most of the characters in it, but they were able to like find threads of something in this that they. I could think that's then... why it was good because that's why I didn't like the kids because I was like, oh, there's more mutants. I don't want more mutants. I just want, I just want Logan and yep. Charles. And like, sure, give me the, give me the, you know, the the girl. Their powers were also well. fucking well, dumb. The girl needed to be there so that they had a reason to do shit. Yeah, but like, the... yeah, you, but it didn't have to be that camp to have the other kids be like, yeah, with like lightning and shit. I gotta say though, the like, ice breath is dumb. Ice the wood thing is, is cool. The wood thing uh, I'm fine with because it was only wood you could use. The 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 oh, tubby well, electricity plants. kid oh, yeah. I thought she... was just funny. The on electricity the basis of being tubby. Don't do that. Don't do the. Also, how did he get? Uh, here's a question. How did he get fat if he's been in that hospital? This is where I'm like, pissed. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, think about your world. They, yeah. they feed him. They choose what they feed him. How did he get fat? Maybe he's uh-huh. just genetically fat. Or maybe he, maybe all of his calories, like I don't know, he has to consume tons of calories to make his lightning or whatever. Yeah, but like, just there's don't, some dumb reason. Just don't get a fat kid because it breaks that. It makes me ask the question. 
and then be like, huh? No, they like, just wanted to hold the shot of the fat kid running for like oh, yeah. a long they did time. I thought he was going to get shot what? in the back of the head or something. I was, <laughs> I was just, <laughs> just like, explode. Just, just brain like... a kid. <laughs> we didn't see Laura get hurt once, though. No, they wouldn't uh, do that. Cause well, they, we saw her get oh, shot no, in the she, hand. No, she point. got stabbed. Did she? She got stabbed by X24. Yeah, but you never, there's no shot where you hold on it. Like, you know, okay. There was no explicit. There was no. They we never. Saw Logan I mean, get she did, stabbed she did get hurt on. a couple times and They didn't show, like, the, yeah. like they, didn't, they, didn't, they didn't hold on any of that yeah. stuff, but she did pull a bullet out of her hand at some point. Oh, that's. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Oh, yeah, she did get shot a bit. <laughs> she um, pulled it with with the teeth. You're just like, I'll just get Yeah, it she just again. gnawed it out. You're like, <laughs> you're like honey, that's going <laughs> Yeah, there were moments in this room where I was like, fuck. You're like, your motherfucker's got a high pain tolerance. Yeah. That being said, I think that. What? I kind of like this. The setup was really good. Like you have Logan, who's like driving a limo. That's He's like, like a, a chef. There were titties in this film. Hell yeah! Oh my god! Titties in the X Men. I was just like, like <laughs> James Manigold was just like, can I put boobs in? Where can I put boobs in? I'll put boobs in here. I mean, it's R rated anyway. So <laughs> yeah, they were just like, I, it was the thing where I was watching it, and it's just like all the girls in the back seat. She's like, hey driver. I was just like, we're about to see some titties. <laughs> I'm just disappointed that we didn't get to see Logan's butt. Hugh Jackman's we didn't see his, like oh, every film. No, we, we didn't, didn't even see like we didn't see that much of him. Like we didn't see Logan titties. We saw like other titties. I was no, like, we, man, we we got a lot of shots of his chest. Yeah, well, he was in tank tops the yeah, whole time. Yeah, he was much. in tank tops the entire time. No, but like, <laughs> which makes sense because they wanted to show the damage. But yeah, you're right. We didn't yeah. see. Oh, there was some some good like shoulder, some like shoulder flexing. Oh There's man, a lot of like. Fucked up scarring and shit too. Oh god, yeah, I mean, he's a he he wasn't wearing a shirt in the hospital. That was the one bit. Not and he hospital, and he took like he took clinic. his shirt right. off when he was like um fixing the Damp. fixing the uh, like the fucking start of a thing with corner. him. Yeah. <laughs> um I thought that whole scene was fucking great. Just the I mean the fact that he just Well like the he's just like he's just like just stay here and don't and don't say anything. Well, and you can tell now. he's just like shut the f-. he's like, this is my friend. He's like Friend with a big mouth, he's like, mm, yep, yep, he's kind of ruining this for me, if I'm going to be honest. Yes. If we're being real, he's kind of, yeah, <laughs> he really a little bit. kind of fucking shit up for me right now. There was now. a part of me that was like, is Logan just going to murder these guys? Oh, oh, I was just like, I was waiting for I, it. I was, yeah. But what's cool is that he chose not, this is what's a cool bit of the storytelling, is he chose not to, and that bit him in the ass. Because that was when the other guys came back, and then they, they, they. Well, it kind of. Well, it kind of helped him though. It kind of gave. X24 I don't think it, something to focus on. That's yeah, yeah, no, it actually, it, it, it helped actually him. helped them. Not uh, killing them helped him because then they came back later. It should have been that he didn't kill them and that really fucked up his plans because that's kind of like a part of the Wolverine comics. Where, like any time that he tries to be merciful, it really fucks his life. It really up. fucks his shit up because he's the guy that like butchers people. We didn't get the famous uh, Wolverine line though. What? Which is where? Which is um? I'm really good at what I do, but what I do isn't very nice. Which is uh, like which is like the classic Wolverine. I mean, we got the classic. He goes to a bar and drinks. Oh yeah, we did. That was except nice. he was wearing reading glasses, which was really kind of funny. funny. <laughs> I like that. every time he wore the reading glasses, I'm uh, like, haha, he he's so, getting old. He yeah, he's so getting old. old. Looks yeah. so, I, I can imagine Hugh Jackman being like, "Yeah, pick, give me, give me those yeah. ones. Those are like the dumb ones. Give me those dumb glasses. <laughs> the, it's um, gonna be fun." The fucking CG on the the dude's fake hand that was impressive. I mean, I was yeah. I was like really focusing on it because I forgot that it was not real. Like, yeah, it no, they it was really real. they didn't they didn't show the the shot in the trailer where he puts the glasses on <laughs> with the robot arm. They didn't have that in the film. It was a little. I was like, oh, that's that. They didn't put that in. Yeah. Um, because in the trailer that was like, holy shit! Like they that's some some impressive CG work. And like when he was holding the um like the photo which how did he get the photo? The, what photo? Hang on, what what photo? The photo that she had of the, all um, of the people in the thing. It was in the truck. In the they truck? might have gotten No, sorry, it. it was in the house because she was what reading. Yeah, reading yeah, yeah. I guess. And she yeah. left it in there. Yeah, but he never went into the house. And why would? Why no, they would have gone in afterwards. No, he like, got blown up. He didn't get. <laughs> no, he but like, like I guess his, the other his people, people his so yeah, because it was they, a, yeah, it was in an evidence thing. Yeah, okay. They um, basically cleaned they up. They sweeped it. Yeah, okay. You could tell because there were people in bio suits cleaning up. It was a whole shot. Whatever. Whatever. Anyway, so like him holding that. Like when he fixes his arm and uh-huh. does the cool like flex all the way back and forth, and then like I was like Jesus Christ, the CG on him picking up that paper. I was like, yeah, was how are they doing this? Like, I was what? like I... Ugh, it's impressive. It was almost as if it was real. You're like, yeah, was he just wearing a green glove the whole time. It was probably him? just like a puppet. Um, or yeah, he was holding a green glove and they just CG'd over bigger. it. But either but way, like... it didn't. I have... okay. That's what I like about this film is all the CG that they used went toward small stuff, not. One big CGI yeah. fight at the end. Most of the right. CG was people jumping. People turned into a rubber a little bit occasionally when they were like during the fight scenes. Yep. A lot of the leaps were a bit rubbery. 
Okay, I've got to be honest, though. They, a that, lot of the leaps with the girl were a bit rubbery. Yes, and I think that's because it's difficult to do kids in motion because they're not long enough for it to... You know, in like, you know, like a regular film when someone is like doing a CGI thing, it yeah. works because their body's long enough that you can kind of cover up a bit of it. You can hide the stretching. And but the... kids are real small. Yeah, so, so they... Yeah. had to be small, so it yeah. kind of looked weird. But I thought that her... What was really cool is her fighting style is totally different to Wolverine's. Oh, how feral she was. Oh, yeah, she was. fought that like was... a... Yeah, she fights like a cat. F- fucking crazy. And then you've got Wolverine who's just like this bear man. Yeah, who just, <laughs> just punches people but also has and knives. she's like, this has knives. tiny yeah. little missile. She's just like pinging around. Oh. Yeah, and like a spe- yeah, and with her like her fucking foot knife. Like a fucking she, like, boot she just, knife. Like, God damn. repeatedly just goes like punches oh, yeah, they, people they had, with yeah, her Yeah, they had claws. a lot of shots of just like the sort of... Like boot shot of her just like stabbing into someone. They did a repeatedly. Lot. They like did, a, there was a they lot, did of, that. A lot yeah. of that. They didn't um, do the um the classic Wolverine thing where um X twenty four has like the 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 uh, uh claws out and goes to like behead Logan and then it like hits his like sp- his neck where the adamantium is because that's a big just thing. Stops. Yeah, well, because that's a big thing in the comics is that you can't behead. The only way to kill Logan is to behead him. Yeah, but you but can't you with can't. adamantium because adamantium doesn't break adamantium. Yeah, but so the whole time that he was getting pummeled when he you was, was just under, waiting for the, I was waiting for the thing and it didn't happen and I was like that would have been of, gruesome as like, fuck. Sh- but though, they kind man. of need to address the fact that he could have just beheaded him. Like yeah. I don't know, it's just one of those things where it's like I get why they didn't, but it would have just been a tiny bit of detail that would have meant that I wasn't waiting to see if he would do it. Like, cause if otherwise, you, why are you stabbing a guy who's got a healing if you factor? Be- if you're Wolverine and you behead someone, this annoys me every time people talk about Wolverine beheading. Wouldn't you get? The head, and then like two little slices of neck, and then the body. I mean, <laughs> how, how do you? How do you think? Because his he's knives, right? Claws. He's got three claws. You'd get the head, the two little slices between the claws, and think, then the body. How do you think bodies work, Ben? That's never gonna happen. <laughs> you tear through bone, flesh, and ligament. It's yeah, but it's like adamantium. A... Well, he does. <laughs> it's the body doesn't just like clean cut off. Here's a can. No, it does. No, with okay, Ben. If it's adamantium. Mean, you'd get two slices between the never between have, the claws. Never is it going to be a perfect cut. It's always at an angle or something. I want. I want him to get a perfect uh, cut. You want get to that. have those. I want to have those slices. I want to see that shit. It'd be so yes, dumb. <laughs> You're a fool, well, especially sir. With, with hers, because she has like a huge gap between her claws, because she only has two. They, they did the thing where she stabbed someone between the eyes, which I thought was great. In oh the yeah, part. I thought that was good. I was yeah. waiting for that. I was like, she's yeah. got the, she's got to do she's it. Got, she's yeah. got, to do it. Yeah, because they could never. Wasn't there like in one of the Wolverine films? He like he he can control them individually. Well, he gives he flips someone off. He flips someone off with it. I was yeah. like. That's, that might have been X Men Origins. Yeah, yeah it might it have been because he can't control them individually, right? They no. Get, like, it's a like it's, it's it's a reflex. They all come out yeah, at once. Yeah, it's a muscle. It's yeah. not like a. He can't control them individually. Yeah, it's not a. Hand, it's not like yeah. a hand thing. It's like the yeah. bone. I remember he like flips someone off in one of the films. It's yeah. like yeah. man, that's lame. Yeah. Um, I feel like that was X Men Origins in a bar. I f- maybe I think it Probably. was, or maybe it was the first X Men. I, I think it, he like had his claws out. He like th- pulled them all out, and then he like retracted the the end ones. You're like, oh my uh, god! It was super lame. We didn't get anything like that in this one, which was good. Oh no, we got we got nothing really cheesy at all it was all just fucking brutal no one addressed the fact that there's way more adamantium in this film than we've ever seen in the x-men universe in the film just adamantium everything well Well, technically they all had did they all have adamantium bullets i don't know no i don't think so not normal people just had normal bullets yeah it was only logan that that one one. yeah but they had enough to make the kid skeleton and was it her whole skeleton though Oh, because they might have just point. put the claws in. Because also, why would you make in a whole that, skeleton that shot of antium until she's an adult? Because otherwise, she's just going to keep growing. Yeah, and it's like, in the shot of the surgery, it was only her legs and arms. They might have just given her the just the, the claws, the claws and the, and the, the boot. knives. Yeah. yeah. So okay, well then maybe okay. Well, that's interesting. That's actually really interesting then, because she's not going to get as poisoned. No, she should yeah. be fine. So she'll be right. Well, yeah. Yeah. she'll be right. <laughs> she'll be right. She'll, well, be she'll right. have just the claws, hopefully. Yes, exactly. And the the boot knife, the, the feet, the feet knives, the feet, f- knives. The, feet the, the booty knives. Yeah, I thought um, it was like I thought she legit just had a boot knife. Not, no, that was not the Joker. Cool. Yeah, I was like, why does she have a boot knife? I like, was expecting this like kids um, hardcore as fuck. We didn't get like a dick <laughs> bloody. We didn't get a dick kick with it though. I we we. we oh no, oh, I, no, I, no, that's that a classic. I would have, I would have oh, lost. No. I would have been like, nah, I'm out. Someone with a knife is classic. I would have left. Absolutely. Yeah, that's thrown up in the bathroom. God damn, that would have been. Paint, uh, ben gets up from the cinema like, and like nah, his, all the dudes in the cinema just like Ugh. yeah you'd get a reaction <laughs> she did kick a guy in the dick but it was just with her normal feet so. she kicked a guy so like the first person she kicked was in like the neck I yeah thought that was hardcore enough she, she was, like she, yeah, was she just dudes flipped in the up face. and just chink you're like that's fucked that yeah it's pretty cool Man. i like the idea too that 
for some reason the people on like who were like making her into a mutant were like what do uh oh no i know what it was i was gonna say i thought it was interesting that they did the thing that charles said about lions and shit but really what he was saying is that evolutionarily she would have had bone knives in her feet yeah, she would have because of the female. Th- okay. So they're like, yeah. oh yeah, cover those up as well. Put <laughs> them in adamantium because yeah. if you're gonna kick a dude, kick him with crazy metal. That's gonna I think, I think put my, a hole right in him. I think my favorite part of the entire film was just fucking Patrick Stewart's performance, just as a whole. Oh, yeah. was he just, did a great job. I mean, oh really? Because I thought Hugh Jackman really put it in this time. I think no, I think they both like really put their because I yeah. think like part of me thinks that they they're aware that like like you know X Men's going down the shitter. <laughs> If I mean, but they if did we the best they could. and they they have the opportunity to have the two really the two best actors this, in X Men yeah, to send yeah. them off and to and like you know we're, we're killing them both <laughs> heads up and they did a really good send and they're like yeah. let's just let's just they have fun really well. let's just have fun and let's let Patrick Stewart act because he's an actor yeah he did a great job um and let's let Wolverine be a let's let Hugh Jackman be Australian basically yeah, yeah. Oh, I um, absolutely love and I fucking Patrick loved Stewart. all of it he yeah. was oh. Tragic though. It's the, it's, I know. That's why. The whole I, film, that's like, why I was so cut. Oh. When it it's happened. also. It's oh. also part of me is like, and this is this is brutal, but like part of me is just like Patrick shoots an old guy, like he's not gonna be around for long. And yeah. I was like, no, nah, yeah. this is this is a good this is a good thing that it happened. It's a good, it's a good send off. It's a good send off yeah. for like you know it's 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 good that you can have a film that's like really defining for a character, both in that character's end and you know when the actor is kind of like, uh, or as you get into the awkward brutal Carrie Fisher situation oh, where you're God. like we it's like fuck we haven't we we fucked up we done CG'd her and then she died yeah <laughs> I mean that's just brutal because it's a case of like they had plans for yeah. a character and then she just it's, goes and you're like oh, oh Christ you so kidding me but yeah. I mean you know can and I, it's the kind of thing where it's just like man at least Patrick Stewart got to finish his film you know what'll be nice for Hugh Jackman is you can just stop being ripped for a while yeah he doesn't have yeah. to fucking you can eat a pizza be- <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> He's been jacked for like the last twenty oh years. Yeah, he's he's been required because yeah. <laughs> like holy shit! I imagine he like currently is like so- sitting somewhere in Sydney, just <laughs> at a bar. He's like, like, I can get a pot belly now. His chest, <laughs> just fucking a- flat as a plate. Yeah. <laughs> Spread eagle. Yeah, he's drinking soda in his, his underwear. Personal assistant is just spooning pasta <laughs> in his mouth. Well, he's got like a beer hat he's on. Like, I'm like, fuck him, done, finally. And he's like, now I can die. <laughs> he's like, put me six feet under and brown it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> fucking hey. I don't know. I, just, uh. I, I thought it was a really great way to send off this, these versions of these characters. Yeah. And I think if uh, Hugh Jackman has any brains in his head, he won't do another X Men film. Oh. Yeah, He'll call it and I think I think they did a they do. Hopefully, he can end it on a good Wolverine film because there haven't been yeah. any others. Yeah, I think I think they treated the the kids in this film the best they could because they didn't do an X Men Apocalypse thing where they ended it with like he, like these characters are the new X Men. Get used to it. Like they didn't they didn't like end it with this mm. whole like like thing where like oh we're the new X Men. They were just like here are the kids. They might be the new X Men if you hate them and we hate them. Then we won't use them. We'll just use the ones you like. Whereas well, in After Apocalypse, they will like get used to all of these characters, even though they're fucking horrible. Could be worse. Could be the end credit sequence in Age of Ultron, where Captain America's like, "You're the new blokes that no oh, one cares yeah. about." Avengers, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Avengers, yeah. Oh, cuts. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, just say the, the just, assemble thing. Just say the word. Yeah, it's fine. Um, you know, <laughs> the next the next Avengers film start, it just hard cuts to him going assemble. assemble. <laughs> Oh, that would be so good. <laughs> uh, I think I, th- I would pay to see that. <laughs> you imagine? Like, what? But what would be great is if it hard cuts that, and but it's Chris Evans now with his and beard. <laughs> and, age and, two years later, in yeah, normal clothes. And it, and it cuts. It cuts back to all of the all of their Avengers. They're like sitting down, like watching TV, and they're like, "What?" Or it's just <laughs> like they've just. It's, it's literally room. he's literally been there for two years, just like Avengers, and they're like. What? Like, did he have? Is he okay? <laughs> Assemble. He's, oh, is he, are we should be worried. <laughs> oh dear. I'm just glad it was good. I oh, I yeah. wanted it to be good so bad. Uh-huh. I, had, I mean, uh, ever since the first trailer, I was like, "Fuck!" I, I had a really good. Like, ever since ever since I've, I've been like scared because none of the Wolverine I've movies been have so been worried. good. No. But I was like, maybe he's finally getting a I good think... X Men film. But I did I, getting a good Wolverine standalone. But I'm like, no. But what if it's not good? It's a real stress about like <laughs> about these kinds of films. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You it go really in, stresses like, me the fuck the, out. If King Kong is bad, I'm done. King Kong's going to be bad. I'm sorry. If it, if I, but that's I'm I don't want really it to be. I'm not really interested in King Kong to be honest. I just want it to be good. I want it to be good, but like given mm, the cast yeah, and like, 
You don't like Tom Hiddleston? He's a handsome. No, guy. I like Tom Hiddleston. I don't like <laughs> the, the guy from. Will be going crazy I don't like the Tom guy from Tim and Eric. Yeah, that's a good point. I don't like him. Um, he's not that good. Yeah, that's a good point. Samuel Jackson's in it too, and he's gonna, he's, up, he's going up the hill. He's he's, he's he's a bit past his prime. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want uh, he, he peaked in episode one. Um. I just want films like this to be good again, and this is a good example of when you can take a property that exists has been and like is, ruined for years. And well, because if could you imagine if they did something like this with the Fantastic Four, where they took that? And then, I mean, they. They could. Yeah, they could. They just need to pick the right storyline. Just don't and, call it and fant- take a risk. <laughs> just don't call it fantastic. Fan four stick. Fan four stick. Yeah. Yep. Jeez, oh my. <laughs> oh, that yeah. fucking poster. That's ridiculous. No, what you do is you you have you have it be just like, uh, like the stretchy dude and the invisible girl. Other characters are dead, and it's just them going through like a domestic squabble as they they like struggle to live through their lives. Okay. Where their friends are dead and they have to hide their superpowers. Yeah, that's most of the comics. Except that kid can change reality. Oh, no, don't and have He's a also kid. a jerk. Kill the kid. No, that'll be a good yeah. MacGuffin. Um, <laughs> Kill they the do, kid. They do, but then it's Just comics. Give me a gritty, gritty. It's comics, so he comes back. Give me like a gritty oh Fantastic God. Four. That'd be cool. Or just don't. It's a just fucking just horrible it franchise. Just let it let it die. Just for let, a bit. It die. let it rest in peace. Yeah. yeah, which is what they should do with 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 Wolverine. I think. Oh and, yeah, definitely. Oh um, yeah, it needs it needs to stay away for a bit. Because whenever you have these X Men films, like nine times out of ten, you're just waiting for the Wolverine bit. Yeah. And yeah. I think now At the, he's started just being the thing where he makes cameos. Yeah, he used he's to be just, like a main character. Yeah. Now it's just like no he does cameos. have one of the best cameos in cinema history though, which is in um, First Class. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Like, when he goes, I, I, fuck off. I was I was expecting him to do that in this oh, film when he was in the bar. Happy. I was expecting oh. someone to come up and be like him just be like fuck off like i was waiting for it i was like if, if you've if you're gonna do it do it here yeah like <laughs> i still want a moment where um in a deadpool film where wolverine's in it and, deadpool oh, and he steals his like steals, steals his effort yeah yeah but um you yeah, know i i in a, I, in a pg rated deadpool film i would yeah. love that <laughs> no I, I i i just i just am glad that it was good and i, I had a really I had a good time and an emotional time and i had a bit of a weep and i don't think it was very it wasn't a, it wasn't like a 10 out of 10 film <clears throat> i think it's like if you if you compare it to like Deadpool in being like sort of what like was this a low budget? I don't know. This was fairly middle budget. It was middle. <sighs> yeah, there was quite a, a, more money than Deadpool. Definitely, I think. Yeah. Um, you can oh, yeah, tell. Obviously. Like the effects were pretty good. Um, but like, if you take it as that kind of like semi spin off, like sort of middle budget, good like not part of yeah standalone yeah. thing. I think it's better than Deadpool. Yeah, I agree. Um, uh, it's not a in terms of like a high, like a high rated. Yeah, we're gonna get crucified for that, thing. but I also but agree. With I mean, that. like it does I mean, have a more solid storyline. Yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. not it's not trying to be a comedy and an action cute. and like a violent film. It's just drama, fucking gritty, like violent, violent as all hell. Mainly just because they show things. Because in yeah. a lot of previous X Men films, he'll slash someone. The dude would just like spin around and fall over. But in this, it's like he'll slash he'll someone, just bleed and, like, out. Especially when he was in the slow mo bit where he slashes the dude and like the blood splatters on the wall, I was like, oh, oh. I was, that, that's when I realized, oh, oh yeah, they're not fucking You're around. Like, no, they don't care. Like they don't care. They're They'll just show that ham. shit. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, I just want more of this. Um, yeah. but as always, Ben, where can people, where can people find us? It's that time of the week. Where, where can they, where can they get at us? At DCM underscore works. You got it. I think. Also, other places. Yeah. Facebook, <laughs> DCM works social. Uh, we're, uh, we're on Patreon. If you wanna. Chuck us a buck. Chuck us a dollar, dude. Um, thanks as always to Jordan for supporting us as well. Top patron at the moment. Love you, Jordan. <laughs> Very aggressive. All right. uh, we also have a t-shirt store if you want to get some merch. Um, Redbubble.com the- forward slash people forward slash DC. Yeah, Marks. all that stuff is in the show notes. Uh, and as always, Ben, this, this episode is brought to you by DigitalOcean, our mates over at DigitalOcean. Hooray. Yeah, they're a, a server hosting... Uh, they're a... They're a- uh, <laughs> server hosting Hero service thing. uh and uh if you use our promo code if you go to dcm.work slash ocean you get ten dollars of credit it's equivalent to about two months of hosting yeah they're really good they, they actually host the podcast uh and they're well worth thanks fam well worth checking out uh i'm at dcm my hit pie i'm at little citrus do you have a twitter account uh at laura ducky b laura ducky i b. don't post much oh okay that's all right uh thanks for joining us laura and as always we'll see you guys next week bye <laughs>